Hey everyone, Harris here, and iOS 13 Developer Beta 2 is out. This does come with an over-the-air profile, which is very nice. You just download that from Apple's developer portal, and now there are also third-party ways of doing that as well, but it is finally over-the-air, so neither Xcode nor iTunes are required, which is really nice uh, and definitely a bonus. So anyway, this is around 700 megabytes on my iPhone 10s and that will vary depending on your device. It took about an hour to install and with it are a few changes so let's take a look now. Okay so let's take a look at some things that have been fixed quickly. So in the wallpaper options before if you wanted to turn on the motion or parallax effect uh, with your wallpaper you weren't able to but now the button does work whereas before it just wasn't wasn't doing anything wasn't responding now that button on the bottom does work so you can have the motion enabled wallpapers working effectively on your device. Now when you are previewing a conversation, an unread conversation in messages, it does not crash. That was a bug before, uh, so it's been fixed that now when you go in there you can do the normal preview. The one thing I've noticed is that on the Find My app, if you have somebody's location pulled up, it still doesn't give you the option to switch between map types, whereas Find My iPhone and, or I should say, Find My Friends before had the ability to turn on the satellite view. Uh, you can't do that on Find My, which is something I actually use a lot. So you still can't use a satellite view, at least as far as I can tell, on Find My Friends and Find My iPhone on the Find My app. In Maps, there is a new splash screen, and it will tell you about Look Around, exploring detailed 3D imagery in San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Honolulu, favorites in collections, and Siri suggestions. So nothing is new here, but there is a splash screen telling you what you can expect with this update to Maps. Additionally, when you go into Home, there is a splash screen for HomePod and what HomePod on iOS 13 will be able to do, which includes recognizing multiple voices, which is very nice, so you can have your family use it. It has the splash screen for personal requests, so it can get your private data, such as calls, calendars, and reading and sending messages. And then finally, it has Apple TV profile that you can add this to if you want to share some data with your Apple TV along with your profile. Additionally, in health, there is a splash screen that's going to ask you if you want to share your health data to improve health and activity. So now in mail, you do have the ability to select all mail. That was something that was missing on the first beta. So if you go edit and select all, you can select everything and you can mark it all red or unread. You can move it or you can put it into the trash. If you go into the stickers now, there are four new Memojis. The peace, the fingers crossed, the questioning, and the shh face. Uh, so if you're somebody that uses Memoji stickers, I, I certainly never use these, but they are there now if you were to use them. There's actually a nice new update in the camera. So when you're taking a portrait mode picture before you had five options, now you have high key mono, which you can see. I'll include this picture of what that does. Once you take that picture, it also gives you the ability to adjust not just the aperture, but also the intensity of the portrait mode filter that you just took on that picture. So that's pretty nice as well. And then the new announced messages with Siri feature that was brought with iOS 13 has a new update to turn off confirmation to send the message. But that's about it for these changes on iOS 13 beta 2. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any features that you found yourself, leave them in the comments and check out idownloadblog.com where we will have a running list of these features. But thanks for watching.